What's up guys, I'm back once again with another e-bike video. Today I'll be showing you a bit of a sneak peek to my upcoming electric bicycle. And um, essentially how it works is I have a 250 watt motor driving a rear sprocket which is mounted onto my disc brake. So that just allows for it to obviously piggyback off um, the wheel system driving thing. And I uh, just allow it to spin. So um, anyway, so... Today's purpose of this video is to basically show you my ideas of regenerative braking on my electric bike and you know the capabilities of it and how much power I could possibly make while riding. So um, without any further ado let's just um, start getting into it. So I've got my multimeter set up here and um, two leads coming off the motor so I'm sort of connect to negative and positive. So right now we're connected and if you spin you obviously start making voltage and with a very small amount of spin it makes pretty a pretty decent amount of power so I'll spin it a so this is very slow we're making about one and a half volts and um, my basic ideas behind this is I'm going to have a switch which switches this from connecting to the motor controller to it connecting to a step up converter so as I'm pedaling very slow it has to be at least making two volts so that would be probably that or maybe a bit slower than that but um yeah basically going a slow speed I can make I can still charge the batteries or I could be going at a faster speed but charging them faster so Basically how that works is a step up converter takes in the, the voltage, so that could be 2 volts if you're going slow, and steps it up to 42 volts which would charge the lithium battery pack. And basically with that it would allow me to charge it at a high rate of current if I'm going fast, but if I'm going slow I can still charge it just at a lower rate of current. So that's basically why I'm doing it like that. Um, there's no way I could make... Um, 36 volts. I'll be. I have to go like 100 kilometers an hour to do that. So that's why I'm using a step-up converter. And uh, so I'll show you a bit more how much voltage it can make without any like step-up like transformers and all that. So I'm just um. So that there made about 5.5 volts, and that's pretty much just like a normal rolling cruising pace. So um, I'll probably do the math and work out how much amps that could possibly charge my battery without um, taking into account any like losses in efficiency and all that. But I'll probably leave that on the screen and now I'll probably start doing like a, a moderately fast pace. So at peak that made around 8 volts and again I'll leave a sheet or some kind of like um, conversion of how much amps that could possibly charge my battery and then again once you, if you're going down the hill quite fast so that there was about 16 volts and um I've actually done that before um, going down a big hill and um, I put the I basically just um, connected my multimeter to see how much I made and um, I will connect it up to amps so I'll put this in here put that in amps switch that over it's so now going at the same speed I was before basically when I was making about two and a half volts or something making about three amps going at about that speed and um, it has a bit of resistance but um with your legs it's not that much resistance and also when you're just normally rolling it's not too much resistance it does eventually slow you down but um it's actually not too bad so it does break but it also makes quite a bit of power without actually um requiring much effort so um, now I'm going to step it up a bit when it was making around 5-ish, 6 volts, something like that. So 
So just then it made about 8 amps. So um, that's actually pretty good. Um, and now I'm basically going to do the full throttle or as fast as I can and see how much power that can make. So at peak that made about 14 amps, which is actually pretty good. Um, the wires are getting a little warm, so I probably should stop. But um, I probably have maybe a data sheet or something of just showing, you know, how much amps and all that I'm making at certain voltages. But um, that's pretty much it. Um, as you guys can see, I actually have a, a um, like a mount for my batteries in the center. And um, yeah, it's a bit of a sneak peek to my upcoming project of this electric bike. But um, if you did enjoy, please give it a like and subscribe for more e-bike videos like this. And um, thanks for watching.